Hi, this is Zoyman, and here's my um, check-in three for project two. Um, as you can see on the top right, there's a go to area B. So right now we are in area A. So when you spawn, the objective will immediately be go to area B. And when I'm in here, this door will close until you go to area C, and the door to area C will actually open. So forcing the player, the player cannot open any of these other doors, so forcing the player to actually... Um, navigate here essentially um, and then I've realized that when I upscaled my map um, this middle section has become very large I upscaled it because it used to be way too small but now since this is too big this middle section I have to apply a lot more um, interesting design ideas to make this middle section not as boring because the player will cross through here and there there will be nothing for the player to do while crossing through so as they cross, they'll get to this section, uh, and then they will be able to pick up this ball. And once they pick up this ball, they will, you know, the, the floor will collapse behind them. So when they turn around, it will turn to something like this. So they need to carefully navigate um, and not die to get here. Once they get back to area B, past area C, it will tell them to go to area D and the, air, the door to area C will close behind them and the door to area D, which is the final section, will open. And all they need to do to win is reach the temple. Um, there is a setting where as you're going to the temple, there will be a monster over here. The door will open, a monster will come chasing after you. Um, didn't have enough time to um, apply that yet. But this monster mechanic will basically force the player um, to head towards area D as this is the only door that is open the player can't go anywhere else and the monster will apply pressure basically pushing the player towards going to the win condition um, I have not set up the win and lose state yet but if my player dies they will respawn um, let me just test that out right now um, so as we restart we run there's actually also some bugs um, within some of the functionality that I need to fix, but doesn't um, affect the entire flow of the game. So as they pick this up and I set the kill Z um, to a point where if they fall through here, they will die and respawn back to the starting point. Um, yeah, that is it for my check-in one. I'm missing some functionalities such as the win state and the lose state um, when for the screen to fade out and the win state win, uh, lose state to pop up to respawn the player. Um, which I think would be pretty easy. Uh, mainly, um, the two things I need to fix before the final submission is my male sec middle section is way too big. I might find some interesting ways to apply some sort of, um, basically make the game more exciting by applying, by when I put on the architecture, maybe I can find some way to make the middle section more, um, you know, exciting, uh, more eventful. Um, and then lastly, I have a monster that, you know, br doesn't really break through the wall, but like the section two, the monster will unlock once the player gets the key and returns back to area B. Um, the monster will be unleashed and will chase through the player to push the player towards the um, final goal. So I need to set the nav mesh for the monster, have it chase the player. Um, but the monster will be the same speed as the player, so this player slows down. To like check on the monster or like spend waste his time the monster will kill the player but as long as the k player keeps on walking the monster will not be able to catch up to the player as long as they have a distance um, so the monster will force the player towards the win condition and if the monster catches on to the player the player will die um, yeah so that is it for this check and do thank you very much